TPWS Overspeed Sensors or OSS sensors. Here we have a locomotive, several automatic signals and right at the end we have a signal protecting some carriages in a platform. We've got a speed limit in the platform of 15 And we have a warning board here for 15 and this magnet is a permanent warning it always sounds the warning so we're going to place some overspeed sensors just after the signal which will trigger and bring the train to a stand if they are approaching the red signal too fast you have two types of overspeed sensor the normal grids and the mini grids so let's place the normal grid And let's place the second grid. They must be done in pairs. Basically, it is an arming and a trigger loop. So a timer is started on this. Um, in, in the real world, a timer is started by the arming loop. And if you get to the trigger loop before the timer gets to zero, then you're deemed going too fast and your train is brought to a stand. So you need the same thing in train simulator. And it's this second um, grid that will trigger the train to be stopped. Double click that second grid and enter the speed which if the train is exceeding the brakes will be applied. I'm going to put 40 miles an hour in here. Actually no, it's quite close, we'll put 35 in. So if we go over those, that second grid at more than 35 miles an hour, the automatic emergency brakes will be applied. Um, the OSS um, sensors only uh, work if the signal is at red. If that signal is at any perceived aspect then the overspeed sensors will not be active. You can go over them at any speed. So over OSS sensors or overspeed sensors only work when the signal is at red. Okay let's give this scenario a go. So here we are. I'm going to select the locomotive and we're going to get some speed up as quickly as we can. Remember our second grid is set to 35 miles an hour so anything over 35 miles an hour will set the um, emergency brakes to on. So I'm going to drive at 40 here we've got coming up our permanent magnet for the 15. So here's our green signal, next our yellow, and the grids are just after that in the distance. So the brakes will apply when we go over the second grid. Just going over the first one now. And there's the second one. So our brakes have come on because we've exceeded 35 miles an hour. The idea is that it will bring our train to a stand as quickly as possible. But as you can see, despite that, we still had a bit of an incident. Now let's try the same thing again, but making sure we're under the speed of 35 miles an hour. So as you can see we're already moving, doing 40 miles an hour, but this time we're going to approach the signals in a more normal fashion. So we're going to get my warning for the 15. So we'll start applying the brakes as you would in real life to bring our speed down. So our speed is now below 35 as we approach the single yellow. So we'll now run through at about 25 miles an hour. That's a warning for the single yellow. Here comes the first grid. And now the second. As you can see our brakes haven't applied. So I'm bringing the speed of the train down. For the red signal.
there we go.